Hey guys, good evening and welcome back again to your Run Academy Nate English channel. I hope all of you are doing great, having a good time. So my dear students, as you know, on the start of every month, I keep on coming up with one strategy for the ones who did not start the preparation yet. But in this particular session, I'm just not going to address only those students who have not started the preparation yet. I'm going to address all the types of the students preparing for NEET 2025 examination. Wherein, I'm going to give you a complete plan. I'll let you know exactly what all things to follow so that you can score really high when it comes to your NEET 2025 examination. So my dear students, knowing that we have got uh, some six months left till the examination, what exactly we should follow for these upcoming six months so that we can fall into the dream college. All those things I'm going to let you know in this particular session, which is going to be very short and precise. And at the same time, the handwritten PDF of this particular session, I'll be sharing on my telegram, which is Vaseem Bhatt Chemistry Official, wherein I keep on sharing all the session PDFs as well as the DPPs of every chapter, which we complete here on this particular channel. So let's get going. Let's get started with this particular session. My dear students, these are going to be the four category of students who I'm going to address right now. First of all, all those students who are still scoring less than 200 in their mock tests, number one. Number two, those students who are scoring more than 400 but less than 500 in their mock tests right now, that's going to be my category two. Category three, all those students who are scoring almost, almost 600 in their mock tests, right? And all those students again who did not start their preparation yet. So what is going to be the plan for you guys from November till April so that you can score really well when it comes to your upcoming NEET 2025 examination. So one by one, we shall be discussing all these things. My dear students, first thing, those students who are scoring less than 200, okay? At this particular point of time, at this particular point of time, if you have started your preparation like three more, three, four months before, but still at this particular point of time, if you are scoring less than 200, that means there's a problem, my dear students. Where the problem exactly is, the problem is really in your foundation. The problem is really in your foundation. So you need to work really hard when it comes to the basics, when it comes to the foundation. Because I'm pretty much sure the ones who have started their preparation three more months, three, four months before, but still in their mock test, they are scoring less than 200, right? That means your foundation, your basics is not clear. So what you need to do exactly is you need to work upon your foundation right now at this particular point of time. One more important thing, there must be problems in your calculations when it comes to your physics and chemistry. And my dear students, your calculations, you can only improvise if you can solve more and more questions than the normal students who fall into the second category. So you have to solve more questions than the other students who are scoring uh, almost four, five hundred right now in their mock test. You have to solve more questions than them. Okay. Now, how exactly you can make your foundation clear, right? How exactly you can do that? My dear students, for that, there is only one solution. That means you need to follow your lectures with more focus. No doubt you're following the lectures, but the problem there lies in the focus. Maybe you are watching the lecture, but you are not watching the lecture with 100% focus mind. So you need to work upon that. You have to watch the lectures with 100% focus, with 100% efficiency, so that your foundation can become clear with time. Okay. And at the same time, my dear students, particularly for you, particularly for you, prioritize your high weighted chapters first. Prioritize your high weighted chapters first and follow them in sequence. For example, in chemistry, do not start any random chapter, whatever you like. Do not do that. Okay, start the chapters in proper sequence. For example, do not start thermodynamics without completing the mole concept. Just follow the, follow the proper sequence, then only your foundation, then only your basics can get clear, then only you can score 650 plus when it comes to your NEET 2025 examination, if you follow the proper sequence. Okay, and this is something which you have to prioritize the most, that is past 10 year PYQs of NEET examination. Because I believe since you have started the preparation long back, still you are unable to score well in the, uh, in the mock test. That means you do not exactly know what are the short, short topics which come from a particular chapter. 
right? And that is something which you will only get to know by solving more and more PYQs. So I have mentioned 10 year PYQs of NEET you will have to solve so that you get the insights, so that you get the idea of what are the short short topics which come every year in the NEET examination, okay? And just follow this particular stuff in sequence, it's going to be more than sufficient. Lectures followed by your DPPs, but guys, you have to solve these DPPs, right? You have, I feel you're not solving proper, the DPPs in the proper manner, or maybe you're not this, not solving DPPs at all. That is the reason why you're scoring less than 200 in your mock test this time. Lectures only will not, I mean, lectures only is not enough to crack this examination. My dear students, there's a proper sequence of things which you need to follow. First of all, you have to watch the lecture of a chapter, right? And while watching the lecture of the chapter, which I keep on telling you in every single session of mine, when you are watching the lecture, watch it with 100% focus. Whatever question your teacher has done in the lecture, solve the same questions again after the lecture without seeing the solution. That's how you can remember the approach of each and every question, right? And followed by your PYQs, DPPs, PYQs, and one mock test you have to give from that particular chapter so that at least you can understand where you are in that particular chapter. Okay, in which category you are in that particular chapter. Let's say you're starting with thermodynamics, for example. You're watching its lectures. You're following its DPP as well. You're following PYQs of this particular chapter as well. That to 10 year PYQs. Then do write the mock test so that you'll understand what is your conceptual understanding of the chapter. So that you'll get to know whether you are able to solve the questions of thermodynamics in the mock test or not. Because solving question at home and solving questions by setting the time limit. These are two different things. That is the reason why majority of the students who write the NEET examination then see the same paper at home afterwards. Then they keep on thinking, yes, this question was easy. Why I was not able to solve it in the examination hall? That is basically due to the lack of these mocks, right? So you have to write the chapter wise mocks, which is super important when it comes to your preparation. Okay. Now, all those students, and I believe for you, the game of NEET 2.0 series, which we have started on YouTube, follow that blindly. I'm telling you, follow that blindly. That is the most detailed series which you can ever get on YouTube, right? And by the way, on Monday at 5 p.m., I'm doing Ionic Equilibrium in that particular series. Follow me live exactly at 5 p.m. from Monday itself, okay? Follow that series because that contains everything in the detailed manner. Every single thing. All the chapters of physics, chemistry, biology, and all the sessions are live. You know it already. You can check the channel as well. You can go to the live category and see it. Anyways, all those students who are scoring more than 400, less than 500. The ones who are right now in the category of 400 to 500. My dear students, your foundation is comparatively clear, right? That is the reason why you are able to score between 400 to 500. Your foundation is almost clear, right? So where the, where the problem lies? Problem lies exactly in the time management. And what is the main reason of the time management? That is avoiding the mock tests or not analyzing your mock tests. See, I have seen a lot of students giving the mock tests. They just give the mock tests and just leave it. Okay. Okay. This is my score in the mock test. Okay. Done. Next mock test. This is my score. Okay. Done. Guys, you have to analyze the mock test. What is meant by analyzing the mock test? The point is, for example, if you are writing a test, let's say there are 200 questions. Out of 200 questions, you are able to solve 150 questions correctly. There are still 50 questions which are pending. Those 50 questions you have to solve again at home after the test, right? So that if a question comes in one more mock test from those 50 questions, at that time you should be in a position to solve those questions. That is how you analyze your mock test, right? Okay, so this is the main problem which I feel is with you guys who are scoring or uh, who are scoring between 400 to 500 in their mocks at this particular point of time. Okay, so analyze your mock tests properly. This is the biggest mistake which you guys are doing. Okay. Now, one more thing guys, one more thing. I believe since you are scoring 400 to 500 right now at this stage, knowing that there are six months left, right? And if at this particular point of time you are scoring between 400 to 500, it's good. It's not bad. It's good. But you have to do more revisions. You have to do more revisions guys. More revisions from the same material which you have been following till now. Do not change your material at this particular point of time. Do not change your teachers at this particular point of time. Wherever you are studying, just study from there. Study from there. Wherever you are studying, whether offline, online, some paid batch, YouTube, wherever you are studying. You are doing good. 400 to 500 at this point of time, it's good. It can be scaled up easily to 680, 690 for sure in the upcoming six months. 
what you need to do exactly is you just need to i mean i've mentioned it over here yeah do more revisions of the chapters already covered whatever chapters you've already covered you have to cover them again right and how would you cover them again again you can consult game of need 2.0 series for your revisions just watch them at 1.5x right so that you can cover your chapter once again from the game of need and if by chance anything you have skipped from a chapter before now at least you are getting that covered perfect right so do more 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 revisions guys of those chapters which you have already done and do not leave this particular stuff that is ncrt in text questions and ncrt exercise questions do not leave them at all do not do that they are the most important things which will boost up your confidence trust me on that okay once you are done with your dpvs of the chapter then go for your ncrt in text and ncrt exercise questions as well in all the subjects in all the subjects trust me it's going to help you out it's going to boost up your confidence for sure and you're not only supposed to solve the pyqs of neat examination you're supposed to solve the pyqs of j means as well because the level is almost same and you know every year in the neat examination almost 20 percent paper is set from the pyqs of j means directly or indirectly so do not miss these as well solve five year j means questions for sure j means pyqs right and neat pyqs i'm pretty much sure you guys are already doing and this is something which i already told you you can you need to i mean revise the chapters which you've already covered again and again again and again you have to revise and for that i would definitely suggest you to follow the game of need 2.0 series right with us on this particular channel now moving ahead my dear students the ones who are scoring right now almost almost 600 right you are doing amazing perfect foundation clear time management may be the issue a bit of the issue but that can be corrected by writing more and more tests <clears throat> okay so let me tell you the ones who are scoring 600 right now right now at this particular point of time you have six months left now imagine in these six months you should target 720 out of 720 if you are scoring 600 right now trust me and that can be done that can be done guys let me tell you before entering into the NEET 2025 examination at least at least you need to write 100 plus mock tests that's how if you want to score more than 700 in the NEET, you can do that. That can be managed, right? For that, you have to write lots, lots, lots of mock tests and keep on anal analyzing them every single day. Keep on analyzing them. Okay, and I told you already how do we analyze them. And one thing that is again for you, more revisions of the chapters which you have covered from the same study material which you have been following till now. Do not change the study material. For you guys, if you want to boost up your confidence, do not skip the NCRT theory of any subject do not skip the ncrt theory of any subject i'm telling you okay because you are going to cross 700 plus and in order to cross 700 plus ncrt theory is important okay ncrt theory is important in all the subjects i'm saying okay as well as in uh, ncrt index questions and exercise questions okay right and this is one more important thing which i believe you would have already created formula sheets and short notes for the revision and this is again for you, J means and need PYQs, at least, at least last 15 year PYQs of J means and your uh, neat examination you will have to follow properly. Then only you can cross the 700 mark, guys. Trust me on that. And at the same time, what about those who are yet to start the preparation? My dear students, it's st still not late. If you are willing to dedicate 12 to 14 hours every single day from today itself, definitely you can crack it. I'm not telling you you are going to score 700 plus. No, but at least you can get into your dream college you can get into the medical college for sure if you exactly utilize these six months and how do you utilize these six months what you have to do what you have to do you just have to complete your syllabus till february end so that means in four months you'll have to complete your syllabus F four months for syllabus completion that means five chapters you'll have to cover from a, uh, in a week now it looks huge but it's not five chapters you have to complete in one week my dear students that means one day you have to complete one chapter in five days, you'll be completing five chapters. And again, for you guys also, you can consult Game of Need 2.0 because every single chapter we are completing there in detail. You can consult that. That is going to be highly beneficial for you. But if you cannot remain disciplined on your own, then definitely uh, on 4th of November, on 4th of November, there's a batch which we are starting on an academy. You, you guys can enroll into that, right? If you think you cannot remain disciplined throughout these six months, Perfect. If you want someone to guide you all the time, then a batch is starting on 4th of November. Perfect. Just join that particular batch. And again, what you guys have to do, follow the lectures, follow the DPPs, follow the PYQs. That's it. That's it. 
my dear students you have to start every single thing from the scratch and follow all the chapters in sequence it's not randomly you are going to pick the chapters and complete no you cannot do that you cannot do that you have to follow every single thing in sequence okay so do all these things it's really not difficult to complete five chapters in a week just try it just start just kick start your preparation automatically things will turn out to be easy for you trust me on that but once you start once you kick start your preparation otherwise it's going to be all in vain otherwise after the need 2025 examination again there will be that guilt feeling in you why did not i study properly like others did at least avoid that at least you should not be feeling guilty after the neat examination leave the result aside follow the process following process is important than the results you should not be having that guilt in you afterwards that i should have studied at least that part should be erased from your life okay then result it's all in destiny and i'm pretty much sure if you're following 12 to 14 hours every single day you can crack it i'm just telling you either follow game of need 2.0 which is on YouTube on this particular channel itself that is detailed but that is only for those students who think they can remain disciplined if you are not then follow the batch the link of the batch which is starting on 4th of November right wherein me your seep ma'am Pratik sir Anushka ma'am etc etc all of the top educators of an academy are going to teach you firstly under their guidance right so you can join in the link is there in the description box of this particular video right you can join in and just follow the batch blindly that's going to be more than sufficient for you okay so whatever things i've told you i believe you are going to take all of them all of these things seriously because my dear students by following all of these trust me you guys will feel the improvement in two days only if you follow all the things what i said whether whatever with uh, like whatever category you belong to does not matter at all okay so take care god bless you all i hope this particular session was helpful so uh i would just Tell you one thing stay strong right try to exert at home study for 12 to 14 hours a day right take care of your health take care of your family as well okay and just sit for 12 to 14 hours a day exert at home and the destiny is going to be all yours okay take care god bless you all and love you all